Two changes from the defeat in Kansas City at the weekend. Ashton Morgan returns at left back. Julian de Guzman recalled in midfield. And Richard Eckersley moves into central defence in a 4-4-2 formation. One of the hosts, the Houston Dynamo, makes uh, four changes from the team which beat Dallas in the Texas Derby at the weekend. Canadian defender Andre Eno in at right back. Colin Clark and Luis Camargo into the midfield four. And Matt Kanji starts up front to partner Will Bruin. Frings will take this corner. Right footed, outswinger towards the penalty area. Avila trying to get it back in. And the off the post, it's in. And it's Jeremy Hall in the 13th minute. They managed to keep the pressure going. The ball fell to Hall. He span on it and left footed off the post. And would you believe it? Toronto FC in front in Houston by a goal to nil. And Davis finds the right delivery. Six to aim for. Long towards the far post. And there's the equalizing goal. It's as simple as that. It didn't take long to get level. And on 20 minutes, Houston are all square. The set pieces have been a trouble area for Toronto. Bobby Boswell beating Richard Eckersley to get in front of him to head that ball. Bobby Boswell was tied with Golden Boot last year, so he is definitely a guy that could put the ball in the back of the net. Now time, of course, for Toronto FC to concentrate and focus do what they've been doing for most of the first 20 minutes. Johnson's got an opportunity here if he can find some support. Avalos come to support him. Kuberman's well. Johnson is going alone. He, my word, he needs some support. Is Avalar onside? He is. Kuberman's within a minute. Toronto FC are back in front. Would you believe it? His fourth of the season. It's Houston 1, Toronto FC 2. Great run from Johnson, taking almost the whole team on. Erica Villa opening up into the space. Kuverman's noticing that he has a gap on the backside coming in, finishing off. Great play from Toronto. This is a totally different team. Maybe it was a good talking to, halftime talk, group talk, teammates talking amongst each other, but they're coming out here really showing that there's a new life to them, there's a new energy. In them. That's all due to Mariner. Avila again, it's a dangerous ball, it's going to go just wide. It was Dunfield with the header. It was no more than six inches wide, and TFC almost had a two-goal cushion. De Guzman. A little chip, and that's the header! Oh my word, it's a third goal! Can the night get any better for Toronto FC? It's Danny Gugelmans again, and it's like shedding peas for TFC. My goodness, they lead the Dynamo by three goals to one. Kuberman is doing a great job right there. You could see him just falling into the space, waiting for De Guzman to deliver the ball in, making his run in front of Jeff Cameron. Little ding in the corner. That's all it takes. Toronto with another goal in the back of the net. Jeff Cameron bringing it forward, looking left for Davis. That's a terrific ball for Davis. Looking for a way inside. Hall. Oh, maybe this is the goal. Oh, it is. Houston are back in it. Will Bryan scored. 73 minutes gone, it's a one goal game, and who knows what happens now. Dynamo back within one, TFC lead by three goals to two. This is exactly why Jeff Cameron is such a highly remarked player. Giving a great ball to Brad Davis, Brad Davis cutting inside. Just an unbelievable finish. Look at this, you couldn't have asked for anything better. And Ashton Morgan's got plenty of room to run. Finds a way around Boswell. Still Morgan. Kuberman's on that far side. Might go for goal. Kuberman's. Oh, it's just wide. He thought it took a deflection. Referee didn't agree it'll be a goal kick. But he was mighty close to his hat trick. More supply coming from Brad Davis. Kosic comes. Great punch. Moffitt with the head up. Kosic gets something on it. So does Morgan. Screams for handball, nothing given. It's Moffat, and now it's Kosic, and they've kept them out somehow. As we approach the final minute of the 90 in Houston, Cameron with a little dig across, oh, and it's the equalizing goal. 
and it's well done again. And they couldn't keep them out. And three points might be just one. It's 3-3 three, three in Houston. Now the Canadian, Andre Eno, has Ownby outside him. Ownby stays onside. He'll have one chance to cross this ball. Oh, it's just... It was Bruin again. And they can't get it away. Referee's blown his whistle. And that will be just about that. I fancy when Kosic knocks this over halfway. Mr. Toledo indeed blows his final whistle. And a breathless contest in human Houston. There isn't a winner other than soccer. What a terrific contest between these two teams.